because I can't stand by that thing. Oh, you found out last time. Okay, hi. Uh, my name is John Hardy, still. Um, and I'm co-founder of Current Motor Company. We've been here at the Maker Fair. I'm going to tell you how to make an electric bike in five minutes. Well, except you can't really make an electric bike in five minutes. It takes a lot longer than that. So I just hit the high points. I'm going to talk about the batteries, the motor, the controller, and some of the choices you go through when making a bike. And I recommend that everybody try this. It's really not that hard. First, you find a donor cycle. Not the type in, from the ER, but the type of actual cycle that's going to donate its frame. You want something large. This is a CB750. You want something you can take the smelly, gas, oily engine out, so have a good frame. And then you've got to remember that an EV is really just an excuse to carry around a lot of batteries in two wheels, or four wheels. And um, here, back in way back in 2007, I was uh, when I started. I was looking at lead-acid batteries, and you couldn't be found that lead-acid batteries suck when it comes to EVs. Um, the battery on the right is um, 52 pounds versus the battery on the left, 19 pounds. Lead, uh, lead on that side, lithium on this side. The other thing about lithium is you get in what you, you get out what you put in. Whereas with lead, that 75 amp hour battery actually only gives you about 35 amp hours out. And so as the more you try and get it out, the more it heats up, the worse it is. With lithium, you've got a very flat discharge cycle. So what that means is that your last mile is good as your first. You don't get slower and slower and slower as you go. You keep going at the same speed until you've used up all the energy in the battery. Smelly, gas, oily um, the lifetime cost is less and getting less all the time. Although lithium ion costs $300 up front versus $175, it'll last four times as long. So you actually end up with a lower cost bike. But the downside of that would be is it costs a lot up front. And the other thing about lithium is that it's very fragile, um, which is your battery management system is a must have. You've got to manage those cells. Um, and that means even more dollars to spend. Um, now, one last thing for lithium is that you treat, treat bipolar, and I think all makers are a little unstable. Um, that's why we we have these like brain flashes that we must do these things. But really, folks, don't make a battery. It's a bad idea. So the rules with battery management system is: thou shalt not overcharge thy batteries. Thou shalt not overdraw thy batteries. Thou shalt not overheat thy batteries. Um, and thou shalt keep thy batteries balanced. For if you do not follow these rules, you will ruin all that money that you just spent. You will flush it down the toilet. We have all, anybody who built an electric vehicle has ruined at least one expensive battery pack. I know I have. And um, it sucks. So the solution is a battery management system. Um, not all BMS is created equal. Shakespeare said of Rose Bay and the neighborhood smells sweet. He didn't have to deal with marketing. Um, you, a good battery management system has got to monitor voltage, load, temperature, and time. And it's got to do this at the cell level. So that it's very you don't do it at the cell level. You don't really know what's going on with your battery pack. Um, there are different versions out there, analog versus digital solutions, um, and you need to have a DC to DC converter to run your electric. So the way you just unbalance the pack more. Motors, you have brushed motors. They're the simplest, cheapest form. Um, slightly more um, sophisticated, you have brushless motors, they have electrical commutation, it's wrapped around. Um, with a brushless motor you can do things like regen, regen to braking, you can do reverse, which you can do these things, but brush motor is just more difficult. Again, I'm just hitting the high points of decisions you have to make as you go through and decide to build your own electric, motor, electric motorcycle. Indies versus outies, um, traditional motor on the left. Um, it's good um, for power and it's good for gearing. The motor on the right, the status on the inside. The center shaft is held stationary and the hub rotates around the outside. Um, now that's good um, for packaging. It's good, there's no mechanical losses because there's no drivetrain. Um, but the downside is heat. So really I just wanted to give you that quick overview and five minutes for all the sort of decisions that go into making an electric vehicle. Um, I figured this was make, and so uh, you know people want to make something. So um, no gas, no worries. And if you don't want to make one, you can always buy one. So that's fine. That's my five minutes.